truth. Stop. If you're not already subscribed, hit that big red button down below. Turn on, click on that gray bell, turn on notifications, drop a like on this video, and leave any comments suggesting any year nays, topics, or anything. Welcome back, guys, to the Binging with Babblers podcast. I'm Abdul. And I'm Ashwath. We're back at it again with episode 28, to be exact. And hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys have been keeping up with us. But... Today we're gonna be we're gonna be talking about a couple of different things. This, the most important thing, or at least like important for this podcast moving forward, will be we're gonna be moving to an in person studio at our school. So we're excited to you know move forward uh, in this project. Uh, we're excited to you know maybe have conversations easier, have get have guests on that, and we can interact with them more. And we're uh, we're gonna be having a TV in the background so we can play videos, articles, etc. For whatever topic we're talking about some other topics we're going to be talking about are the global phenomenon known as squid game taking over netflix watch lists around the world so we're going to be talking about that another thing the twitch hack the leak payout what the twitch hack means what the twitch hack has shown and then another more serious topic uh since columbus day we're recording this on the day of columbus day so we're going to be talking about why Columbus Day should not be cel like cel celebrated as Columbus Day, but as Indigenous Peoples Day. And the final topic, or be a bit of a shorter one, will be the future of Jake Paul's boxing career. Abdul, how are you doing today? Doing uh, amazing just to see your face on a lovely Monday. I mean, how can I not be amazing? Like, Thank how can you. I not I appreciate good? it. I don't really... I'll... Your face is kind of mad, but I appreciate it. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm All right, joking. this is the end of the Binging with Babblers, guys. It's been a good run. 28 episodes? It's been good. <laughs> yeah, it's been, it's been great, but we're going to be... Nah, I'm just kidding. But, uh, Abdul, uh, we want to start off with some urinase. Yes, I, I have that, I'm just asking. That. Yeah. All right, first <laughs> urinase. Uh, trilogy movies. Uh, the Spider Man's, the the Star Wars, like yeah, or maybe yeah. not just that's just like movie series in general, Harry Potter, mm -hmm. Lord of the Rings, like that. Fast and Furious. Well, they're I say like they're a yay because like you get to see the character again and again and again and again, yep. and like it's like a TV series in a kind of way. You get what I mean? Except you have to wait like two years, but and it's also yeah, yeah. way less content, but they're also much bigger, so. Yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah. But it's like also like usually when book adaptations with book adaptations, the movies are usually not standalone, especially when they're like, you know, a trilogy, like multiple books. So there's a trilogy. Yeah. So people get to see their favorite books on live action. And for, especially for people who don't like reading and only like the specific book, but like still prefer movies that I think that's really cool for them. So for me, trilogies are always a yes. I always hate it when movies like sometimes, you know, movies need to be standalone. You can't continue them. But I always yeah. hate it when movies end on a standalone with cliffhangers or when the plot can be furthered in different ways. So I think trilogies, uh, movie series is a yay for me. Yeah, I mean, uh, standalone movie Interstellar. Have you seen that movie? No, but yeah, I I know all about Interstellar, Inception, Shutter yes, Island, yes. some of the best yes, standalone yes. movies ever. Forrest Gump. Like, there's so many good ones, yeah. but then the series are just I, always iconic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's a yay for me. Yay for a you. definite yay. All right. What's next... your favorite trilogy? Like, oh, for you? yeah. You know, that's a good one. That's hard. Bro, the Spider Man. Uh, I was going to. Actually, I didn't like the right, the first original Spider Man that much, but this Spider Man trilogy, Tom Holland is looking to be one of my favorites. Maybe yeah. the Star Wars trilogies. I don't know what you say for nine movies, but the three, three trilogies there. The Harry Potter movie series. I don't know, not a trilogy, but yeah, still love them. Like the Captain America trilogy. Like I don't know, those are my favorites. I can't really pick one to be honest. I suck at picking favorites. Yeah, yeah. Same here. I would probably have you heard of Taken? Like, uh, I've heard like, yeah, I've heard of it. I don't know much about you, it. You've heard the famous like saying is like, I don't know who you are, and then like I have a particular set of skills that makes me dangerous. Oh have yeah, you heard yeah, yeah, yeah. Phone call. Yeah. yeah, it's from that. So like. There's three movies there. I think there's yeah three, and then there is uh you know I'm blanked out. I'm just gonna go with Spider Man as well. All right, Spider Man. All right, both the A's for us. Yeah. Next year, Nay, we're gonna do uh, standardized testing. 
we could talk about this further in a different podcast, but just the quick brief rundown of whether we think it's good or not. Um, I don't know. For different people, it works differently how they express themselves on a test. I mean, you get what I mean? You can't really express yourself on a test, but I think, <laughs> no. I, I, think I get what you mean. <laughs> Yeah, like yeah. some people are not good at testing, but they can will be very smart. And some people are not just a bit uh, on on the low down. They're just not good at academics, but can just still be very smart. But academically smart people do not also have to be good at testing. Yeah, yeah. Well, it just it, it's usually used for like setting you at a level. You're either like an eighth year student, B tier for like other college. Yeah, get it's other like you know in, the, in high school, SAT is the most important thing yeah. for college. But should it be? Let's not get too deep into this, but for me, uh, basically, I I think it's an A just because it, it's n- not a good way to measure bec- like how, like how you're doing in a certain area. Like the classes yeah. are much better because you're doing a variety of things, not just tests. But, so I don't. Yeah. Know. I just don't but, personally like standardized testing. But maybe it like uh, just shows that you can uh, handle the high level because like. The how you do on your SATs, the say like I think for here's the thing, make your route like yeah. Through I mean, I get what college. you mean, but I think for math it's fine. That can because it, math is not much different because you do just do you don't normally do anything other than tests and class mm-hmm. anyways. But for like English, like just bub that you're restricted to just bubbling in, and the SAT essay option is out, which is I'm grateful for it because I don't want more to do with that. But yeah, at the same time, it's just. I feel like with English, there's so much you can do and putting it in a test is not like a good uh, scale to measure how good you are yeah, in that yeah. area. Well, they can be improved. So I'm just going to say nay. Like you go, I mean, like they yeah. can find other ways to do it better, but it's the way it's been done for so long. So it's just people are sticking to it. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm like really neutral on this. Like, what about you? You said yeah, you don't nah, like it. I, I think you, the UCs are taking a step. They're creating their own test. But then again, at the end of the day, it's still a test. But Another test, we'll yeah. St- we'll see how it goes. But next, J or nay, uh, anime. Another topic we could talk about a lot with a guest. But let's just, what do we think of anime for All right. a quick rundown? I haven't seen one anime in my whole life. Okay, Not guys. <laughs> yeah, don't cancel us. Don't cancel. We're just... Yeah, it's save I've your, never seen save one. your Twitter cancels for when we yes, actually yes. do something. Yes, yes, yes. We're not planning to do. Yeah. yeah. We're... <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, for me, it's a. I'm gonna have to go with a nay because I haven't seen one. Or yeah, like, I see what you mean. Like, you can't really say yeah. I mean, are you? Would you be interested in watching one? No, I mean I. Yeah, over I'm here, my boat. cousins like watching anime, and then it's like, oh my god you made another apple pie ah, la, 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 la. It's, and it's just like yeah i think what the, it's like what anime is very exaggerated as always every yeah. scene is hype there's a lot of action yeah, yeah i can see why people get it but i just like it but i feel like it's yeah. all over the place sometimes a lot of them no a lot of them have very good storylines and it's, honestly i think some of them can be very good but I, I right now I've been watching too many TV shows. I need to slow down, and I definitely can't get any anime. But I think a lot of the standard anime, like Naruto, I would definitely wouldn't watch because I like a plot-driven uh, like movie or show. Like if a show was or movie was pure action, I'm not watching it. I'm there for the drama and the relationships, bro. You know what I mean? So yeah. anime just doesn't interest me that much. So I'm gonna have to say nay. You know, obviously no. I've watched anime as a child, but it's called the. They're generally called fake anime, you know, like Beyblade Pokemon. But yeah, yeah. it's a thing overall. I watch Yu Gi Oh as a child. Yeah. Like everyone's so, watched those. Like, kind yeah, of yeah. But it's a nay for both of us, I think. I mean, for me, like, it's a nay, nay, nay. Because, like, there's so much anime, and then, like, the things I've seen people watch <laughs> at their age is like, okay, buddy, um, please don't watch that. Like, come on. So no, no, it's okay, a no. Yeah, I go with you, man. I'm right. so like, I don't want to offend anyone, but like, the things I've seen people watch, like anime type they're stuff, interesting no. to say the least. They're very, very interesting. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Uh, final year and of the day. Uh, Discord. Discord. I mean, I mean, we can't really, really we can't really, yeah. uh, <laughs> we can't really say name when we're using it to record. No. But what about? I mean, I mean, Discord is great, right? Like, especially for. And you're playing video games like 
it's so much easier to just hop on Discord on call because you have Discord open while you're playing the game instead of like yeah. you know doing an Instagram call on the phone or a phone call where you have to have it on a different device. So it's a much harder, and Discord also doesn't impact like you know the FPS and whatever in your game. So it's great for that. It's also great like you know the servers if you want to organize something. It's great to create a server as a group chat because there's so much more things you can do in a discord server than like a regular group chat yeah but what about for like you know just regular communicating like if you want to text someone what do you think well i personally don't use discord that's the thing like i never like i talk to people and they tell me they've met their like best friends on discord yeah. playing a video game yeah. together and like i've never like joined a server the only server i'm in is the the club thing for school yeah, and then... I'm I'm definitely a bit I'm not I wouldn't say I'm the opposite, but I'm the opposite in the sense like I'm in I used to watch a lot of Twitch when playing Fortnite, so like yeah. I I'm in so many servers, but I don't I've probably made like like three friends maybe from servers like that you know that don't I don't know IRL, yeah. but I think like yeah, I wouldn't I'm not texting someone on Discord when I can text them on Instagram or just no. a text message because the you know most people don't check their Discord, you know, like often, so no, I mean, like, say me, I only have people added because of the podcast as guests. Like, other than that, other than the podcast, I wouldn't use it because, first of all, I game on a PS4. So, if let's say if I was a PC gamer, I would probably use it for chat. And then maybe if I'm more into games, I would have joined a server or two to play with people. But really, I'm what they say is a casual gamer where, like, I don't play much. So, I mean, Discord's a yay overall because of the us being able to record on it. Thank you, Discord, for making yeah. this free. And, I agree. Uh, it's a yay overall, but just a yeah, name for, like, yeah. trying to communicate. But I think no. I mean, that's the end of the A, yay or nay. So, Abdul, maybe you want to right. end, of, end, of, end us off with the would you rather. All right. The would you rather for today is would you rather be overdressed all the time or underdressed all the mm-hmm. time? Overdressed, like... In the sense, like you're wearing warm clothing all the time, or clothing, oh no no no, or like you're it's wearing like, a tux all the time. Okay. Yes, like you're going to the, the appointment with your pediatrician, and then you're wearing a whole tuxedo, or like you get okay. what I mean. I'm gonna say underdressed because first of all, I value being comfortable above looking good, and second of all, I think nowadays like not showing up in a tuxedo for things like weddings and like. And like other fancy stuff is more acceptable than it used to be. So if you, yeah, if I can just dress in jeans and a underdressed, uh, yeah, jeans and you a know, shirt. I was gonna say polo, but that's not that's not underdressed. So like a jeans and a shirt, like sure. I don't think anyone's gonna. My parents might, you know, get fussy, but you know, I'm. I don't think anyone's really gonna yeah. really care how I how I dress is like as I'm there, right? But yeah, I think I'll choose underdressed. Underdressed. So you would go to your. Whatever. The only bad thing I'd say is like you know, for I don't know if you're gonna just say <laughs> this a funeral. Like a, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say in flip flops and shorts and like a white t shirt. Just and I'll go like, like a, a black a black flip flops, a black uh, <laughs> black shorts and a black shirt. There you go. That's black the somber shirt. mood right there. Well, I'd I'd be like overdressed a hundred percent, like a thousand times. I don't know why. It's just like over dress like you can't i just go can't wrong. a suit all the time like i get it, it like and it's not in, in any like in any situation it's not people are not going to say like you are overdressed necessarily but like i don't know i just value being comfortable and i don't like suits that that, often. that is true that is true and i, I mean, don't want to draw I... attention you know if you're wearing a suit all the time you're just you're going to bound to draw attention i'm not about that type of life drawing attention <laughs> for what i wear so for the first topic of the podcast, we're going to talk about the Twitch hacks, you know, the payout leaks, the the everything. I think I know the biggest thing is the payout leaks, but there there is also more to it. And we're going to focus mainly on the payout leaks, however. But first off, uh, before we start off, I'm going to be hopefully during editing, I'll put a picture that's showing like maybe like the top 25 paid streamers. You can see if you find your favorite streamer. But first off, what do you think of, you know, this whole mess of bull? Bro, who leaked it? Who is that organization? I don't, I don't, I don't remember. They? I don't remember if they're anonymous or not, but it's yeah. definitely they. The, Twitch are scared. I, I think they. I was reading an article. They're saying like that Twitch is prepared for like a, uh, are prepared for a, like a leak of the whole thing. They're prepared for like a leak like that's gonna threaten everything they they have. So I think wow. if they're that scared, there's definitely 
reason for that. So hopefully, you know, it doesn't come to that. Maybe the hackers aren't, you know, that malicious in what they're trying to do. Why? What are their motives, you know? What are the motives? There could be a couple things. Maybe they want to, maybe there are people who hate streamers and they want to leak out Oh, we don't say, know. Oh, we don't. Yeah. We don't want. Uh, we don't think streamers should be getting paid this much. I mean, they're just malicious. They're just taking enjoyment out of, you know, uh, harming other people's experiences and you know, like ha- hacking a company or actually, like hacking a company. Maybe yeah. that provides a thrill for them. We don't know. There could be multiple reasons. You know, this isn't light because like this is Twitch is the what do you say subsidiary of sub. You get what I mean? The yeah, the yeah. the hub of streaming. So like, it's where like yeah, people stream on YouTube, Facebook, but Twitch is the, where a majority, the majority of streamers yeah. stream. And having it leaked, I don't know. It's it's big, but obviously, I've heard some points made that YouTube a YouTube week would have been much better because there would have been or not better but bigger because there would have been more analytics. And I think I think YouTube is actually from what most entertainers are saying that YouTube is much easier to make money on or like to sustain like uh like a consistent earning so yeah but the twitch leak like it's interesting because like some of the streamers you expect are lower than you thought but at the same time they're like people like shroud who's only 25 on the list even though whenever he streams some he'll get like 20 to 150k viewers when he's doing like a watch party of a valorant tournament like you gotta you gotta think about like they're when they're at this point in their life they're not going to be streaming as much so even so because they're already set for life so they're gonna have like but and furthermore they're also gonna have like you know sponsorships they're gonna have like and they're gonna have like investments already and other things behind the scenes they're earning them money like passive income yeah. and everything yeah i mean that is that isn't their main focus anymore it's just something they do to expand like their brand their yeah. investments and and you know because some streamers sponsor. actually enjoy streaming still they're not just doing it for the yeah. money so they're like interacting with their viewers so they're still gonna do that because yeah yeah uh, yeah it's not as much of a job for them anymore when they don't have to worry about the money like ninja he's set for life from like that mixer deal he made for 30 mil he can just stream whenever and just have fun you know yeah yeah but i wanted to say i came off very wrong i'm saying that twitch is like the biggest um uh, amazon investment or like the biggest mm-hmm. thing amazon owns outside of amazon you could say and that. it it being hacked doesn't mean like amazon yeah, that's can a, be that's hacked like, and yeah. like you could say that's like, an ominous thing like yeah i don't i don't know maybe i think twitch i've been reading articles it's also been said that twitch is like not been worried about the security as much like there was there's been reported that people were telling Twitch that, you know, they could be hacked pretty easily, but they weren't taking it seriously. So I think that's also that. And like management of Twitch is still different than management of Amazon, despite like Amazon owning them. Cause it's like the same thing with like, like uh Facebook owns Insta. There's still Instagram management that's different from Facebook management because the, there's going to be different security teams. So I think, yeah. I think we don't have to worry about Amazon being hacked. I think the security is, like much but more, like, aren't they like on the same uh, servers or on the same would stuff they be though i don't think they would be but that's I, what like, happened they'd be on instagram similar facebook. stuff yes but yeah i think that yeah but instagram and facebook are both social media while amazon yeah is like online shopping like a conglomerate while twitch is yes. a streaming conglomerate they're two kind of more different things so they'll probably they'll probably be a bit yeah, like, yeah different that's, that's or true. harder to hack yeah yeah that's true well what else got leaked other than payouts? Did addresses get leaked? I don't think so. I think payouts were the main thing. There's a couple other things I'm uh, I'm hard pressed to remember. I can look it up in a sec. But like, uh, there's been there, maybe like these hackers might threaten with addresses and stuff. And people are already saying that you need to change your password. Which is, you know, guys, yeah. if you have a Twitch account. Like, it, it doesn't matter if you're small. Like, people can find your credit card information through your Twitch account. So make sure to change your passwords if possible. But I think yeah. I think the biggest thing was still the payouts. And like another thing that the payouts uh show, I think is that there's not many diver there's not much diversity. Especially like I think there's only three women in the top fifty stream or top hundred or something streamers. And uh, I think what one, one of them is Pokemon other one was amaranth controversial and the other one was a german female streamer so you know that's it's that's not much diversity and the, even worse is that or i don't know about even worse but just as worse is that most of the you know people on the top 50 list are white males i don't i think there's very little you know 
colored people, people of color, on that. Yeah, but that is list. it Twitch's fault? Because like, it's I up mean, to the I'll viewer. give you they an can... example. Um, or is it not? I'll give me because there, recently people are you know getting on Twitch because there was a bunch of like hackers that were botting uh colored stream uh, people of color like streamers who. Uh, like black streamers and everything like that, or and Latino streamers, like with like they were botting their chats with like light racial slurs and everything. And Twitch, it, it did nothing to stop it, or it took a while for them, or the fact that it shouldn't have happened in the first place because it's not like a hard thing to like prevent. So people were definitely on them for that. So I think that's definitely a part. But I think Twitch could do like yes, you could say oh they everyone should be equal, so Twitch shouldn't do anything. And I try to help uh black streamers lit latino streamers but at the same time they've been uh, uh people of color have been like you know like uh how do i say this they've been mm, they've been ha faced hardships for in society for so long that i think it's fine to give people who are struggling more than the average white male uh, uh, like advantages like maybe on the home page especially put like more uh people of color on there maybe during like black history month put people of color on the front page or during a latino latinx uh heritage month you can put like uh, latinx uh streamers on the uh promo page i think there's a couple of things that they can do without seeing like seeming very unfair at the same time yeah i mean you could do stuff like that but like I don't know if it's fair to the other because like but it's not there, like the biggest advantage ever you know like white males already have the advantage of being having white privilege like it's just you're giving them the like, people who are struggling an advantage when they've been like they've uh had to face hardships and discrimination for like in society yeah, yeah. even till this day so i think giving them just the small thing like putting them on the home page could really you know spread spread out their brand and i think that's fine it's not the most unfair thing in the world okay okay yeah, so I see the other point, but I also think it's a if you I think it's also either people aren't thinking about it as much, so they're just saying it's unfair or it's a bit narrow minded. Okay, okay. And for the Instagram hack, what happened there and Facebook? Are we gonna address this? I think they went down for six hours. I mean, it? yeah, it was kind of simple. They they went down for they went down for a long time. Uh, I think the stocks dropped a lot, but I don't even know if it was related to that. So it Mark was, Zuck Zuckerberg's like net worth went down by four billion. Yeah, but I think that's just expected just how big it is. And for Mark Zuckerberg, yeah. there's nothing right. So I think there wasn't much to that. Nothing really big happened. It was just down for a couple of hours and at the end of the day, nothing no one was harmed. I think the Twitch hack is you no know, is still is one of the biggest like social media hacks in recent times. Like yeah. I think also I wanna talk about the Twitch hack once again. Another thing that was revealed, like people you, they say that only the top like zero point zero one or zero point one percent like can actually live off of twitch but i think these numbers have revealed it might actually be less than that because there are nine million people who stream on twitch i may i'm doing the math wrong but there's ten thousand people who can who are making or there was ten thousand people that were leaked the top ten thousand uh, highest paid streamers and a bunch of the streamers at the bottom are actually ma making less than minimum salary every year which is 50 around 15k and a lot of them are making under that which is like when you're living in the United States, especially, like it doesn't matter what state, that's basically unlivable. So I think that was an interesting thing to see, where like, you know, I think even less streamers than we thought are, you know, making making a livable wage off of streaming off of Twitch. I mean, is it surprising though that I think a lot of people like, are surprised, but when you really think about it, it's not really a surprising yeah. because like, if you don't garner as much views as the guy ahead of you you get what i mean so how are you going to get the same money so that's how it happens i'm trying to is find it... i'm trying to find uh, uh stuff same? about more leaks if there's anything else leaked but 125 gigabytes of twitch information was late which is a lot because it's just information it's like a game is might be like 100 all gb the but... update or something that's what i'm saying a game <laughs> might be 100 gb but like and just information on documents and stuff it can is can be like less than half a gigabyte so like 125 gigabytes of information is uh, a lot so we're, we'll see how that progresses but and if anything else gets laid because i think twitch has been saying a malicious third party uh leaked the information so i think we were speculating earlier whether they are malicious or not so i think twitch is saying that it was malicious and 
I think uh, there can't be. I think the reasoning has to be malicious either way to release yeah. something as big as uh, this, anyways. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, ignore this blank spot, you know? Like, uh, yo, yo, yo. This is a blank spot. Yeah, I'm so bad at editing, so I made this mistake, you know? So, yo, just. <laughs> I, you know, I don't know how to rap, bro. Like, I can't rap on the spot. You know, let me have some time to make some lyrics, and maybe I got you guys. But, you know, I hope you guys are enjoying the episode so far. Uh, sorry about this, a blank spot, because I made a mistake while editing, and. Cutting it and re-uploading now would mess up the timestamps and please skip this part. I am very sorry. Uh, some free ASMR. No, I'm not that cringe. Uh, I'm sorry. No in insult to ASMR artists, but like, you know, I'm not. We're not that type of YouTube channel, if you know what I'm saying. But yo, 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 we're out of out of here. You're about to be done with this. Um, like 50 more seconds of me t talking randomly. I know you guys probably don't want to hear this, but hey, you got it. So. Um, yeah, um, uh, sorry guys, once again, I know I keep apologizing, I'm gonna do it again, I hope you guys can forgive me for this mistake, and I'll see you guys on now. So moving on from the topic of tw uh, the Twitch check, we're gonna move on to a, a controversial topic, to say the least, but I think a topic that needs to be talked about, uh, why Columbus Day should not be, like, be spent as a day honoring Columbus, but why it should be dubbed indigenous people day spending a day honoring the native americans that uh that you know that columbus colonized so what are your thoughts on that change abdul changing that well i don't see what's wrong i mean columbus day to me isn't about columbus it's, it was just about oh that's the day we first came to the americas so that's like all of i see what i, I see what you're it saying before. but yeah. Why why can't we would change it from Columbus Day then? It doesn't have to even be, like maybe it doesn't have to be Indigenous Peoples Day, although we can get to that why it yeah. might be later. But what I think still calling Columbus Day is still in a way making it about Columbus and honoring Columbus. And let's talk you know, about a bit. He or, was like people might say he was the brave uh, brave sailor to go and yeah. sail and then he found it so he like there's stuff people name after you like you what is it? Say Nick Nikola, no, I'm not Nikola Tesla because I can't think of something like. Have you heard the theories people call it after themselves? Yeah, like, I know, word? I know what yeah. you mean. Like, yeah, so, so I, yeah, go. That could be a reason why, but like what we know about Columbus now is like we might have to change that. Yeah, and some of these things like include um, trigger warning. Like Columbus was has been uh shown to be a rapist a sexual assaulter just an assaulter in general like not caring about women men or ch even children they're just he he made sure everyone obeyed him or, or you know or else that the ominous threat is there he'd he'd kill he'd torture he maim he'd enslave he set the president for slavery in america like like african americans were not the first people enslaved in america it was the native americans like and i think a lot of people and recognize that especially like i'm not saying like oh i either is more important than the other but even to like to this day like there's many americans don't, don't recognize like native americans were enslaved as well they're all so focused on you know the african-american uh you know civil rights movements which is good they because it needs to be even more focused on but i also think native american uh you know like how they've been affected throughout american history i think that needs to be recognized as well and maybe making indigenous people day like making indigenous people day is a first step in that we can honor the native americans that you know died because of columbus and i yeah. think i i think that maybe we could have columbus didn't have to be as cruel as he was to colonize yeah America. and that day was like the beginning of the end for a lot of cultures and a lot of people not through just colonizing through disease and then through like their land being taken and yeah colonizing so with that, I mean, honoring the people, the cultures that were here before us, I mean, that wouldn't be a bad idea, honestly. And like Columbus, like people say, oh, it was like back then it was different. Like, yeah, but we're not standards. back then anymore. Not only that, it's just back then. And I also even, think, yeah, actually, he you was know, I don't cruel. Know. He was yeah. like more cruel than normal back yeah, being, then. Than 
being cruel is not a standard and despite yeah, yes, yeah. times back then were more to be medieval rougher but even yeah. columbus is like was below the, the standard and that your children, children well. uh yeah. like mutilated the children pe- they had like a quota if you don't get that by the end of the whatever you get yeah if you don't get this amount of gold off, by the yeah. end of this year you get your hands cut off you get your limbs cut off like that's, yeah that's like you know we have a right in the u.s that says you cannot be subjected to cruel and unusual punishment. Yeah. Columbus did that often, cruel and unusual punishment for no yeah. apparent reason. So I think that, you know, like Native Americans today, they're, they're struggling, right? They have, they lost their, their, their ancestors lost their identities decades, centuries ago. And to this day, like Native Americans have high rates of, uh, suicide, uh, suicide, depression, uh, homelessness, uh, unemployment or high unemployment rates and like obviously not everything is about oh they they were affected back then but a lot of but it time it takes like time can like like even though like it's been centuries like it takes time for things to have to get to a certain point and i think that a lot of the why they're at this one is because their their homes were stolen they their ancestors were destroyed killed humiliated and i think to this day they're feeling the effects so honoring columbus would be uh you know just uh more than offense more than just offensive to them yeah maybe on there the thing that i said like honoring their cultures before we came but yeah columbus was a very bad man i mean even to back then standards so i don't see why we don't change that i mean, I mean many obviously... many people would make the argument oh without columbus we wouldn't have discovered america first of all America was discovered before, so even if Columbus didn't discover it, I think we would But would've... he set the trend to, for yeah, European he's trying, like, you know, he's colonization. Set, not even Europeans, because, you know, the Vikings and all that. But I think, you know, America Vespucci, he he was, uh, you know, technically the first discoverer of America. It's just that Columbus was yeah. official. But I think, like, we would have been discovered eventually. Yeah, society wouldn't have been maybe as advanced as it is today if it, we weren't discovered as early as we was. But mm-hmm. I think we still would have gone there eventually because it's just like, it's just we were going to be, you know, set back maybe 100 years if Columbus didn't you know, do it. So I think if it's a Columbus was a good guy and then he was all good and helped the people. I mean, I don't mind celebrating. It's not even, it's not even that, right? Said, if Columbus was just peaceful, maybe he made trees yeah, with them yeah. and made deals that just stayed out of each other's ways. Yeah, then. I mean... Yeah. In his notes to the Queen of Spain, or what was it, the king, he wrote that these are people are like easily subjected to labor, and then like we can. Oh yeah, and yeah, he called them um, inhumane uh, yes, animals. Yes. They call them, yeah uh, medieval. So, like, like what he know. said, like what if he said, "Oh, we got humans on the other end of the globe. Uh, we can become befriend them. We can ally build them, an yeah. ally with them. It would have been all different." But his. And you, yeah, yeah, his wording. I want to bring up from that point you brought up, like the wording he uses, like honoring Columbus Day is not only it's also not only being offensive, it's also inherent that you could could be seen as being racist because Columbus was a racist. Colum- like Columbus did like see uh, uh, Native Americans as uh, animals, like how you know African Americans by uh, were seen as uh animals and uh, inhumane and not human by slave owners the same thing with native americans and i think that's just furthering the culture of discrimination and of uh, saying that uh, the furthering culture of co- uh, people of color are less than yeah. uh you know white people so i think in doing that is not only being offensive on columbus day is also inherently being indirectly racist so moving on from the topic of Columbus Day, or actually I should say Indigenous, Indigenous Peoples Day, but moving on from that topic, we're going to talk about a, li- a bit of a lighter topic, Squid Game, the TV show that's taken over you know, Netflix uh, worldwide. It's supposed to become Netflix's most streamed show of all time, which is, yes. which is cool, I think, because it's a foreign show, so I think it's good that it's very good that it's becoming like very hit popular, because I think more representation is great you know so yeah but i think Not only that it's like yeah. a korean like it's so crazy that like it's a whole it's a whole world of yeah. uh entertainment that we've haven't tapped into like as yeah, americans uh, yeah exactly much. like americans do not watch generally like foreign shows Other stuff. That, yeah just not from america it's like as much. the language barrier and then exactly. this yeah. tv show they eliminated that with the oh, awesome yeah. 
dubbing of the uh, show. I'll, I'll get to that. But I think yeah, the dubbing was better than like other I, stuff. Here, I'll, I'll say this: I don't think it's because of language barrier. Americans don't watch porno shows as much. There's obviously a reason for some people. I think so, like Americans a lot of times just focus so much on America they don't see outside of America. Is my opinion as well. No, but, if it's have you heard of the movie Parasite? Yeah, like, but it's that, good. Again, it's like, gonna make it. It's gonna not make just it. Good. It's, it has to be very, it, very good. Like if it's just good, it's not. No I know it good. has to be very good to make it. Not over, even very like, good. If like phenomenal, I would say. Like yeah, I don't know. If, I, like, I think it's I, an okay show. Why would an American guy like not okay? Or, but like person. it can be a great show and people still won't watch it. It has to be phenomenal, like the best out of that country or something. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But I think the dub. I mean, the English dub has never been that good. Like, I was, I heard this, I was listening to the Spanish dub. It was a lot better. It didn't sound as robotic. Like, some, like, English dub Sony, like, so much of the time, not just in this show. It's just like, it doesn't flow that well. What were your overall thoughts about the show? Um, for, I was very confused. Maybe big first episode, or yeah. like, first couple minutes of the first episode. Like, I was like, what am I watching? And then I see a guy in a breakdown over horse like going into like a mental breakdown for horses like you know he was he was betting in the beginning of it yeah the main character yeah 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 Yeah. so so i was like okay this yeah i think that first part was confusing the first episode. yeah yeah. it was pretty for me i didn't like the first episode that much it was a bit boring but then once they got to the actual squid games like i think that was cool like it was just so unexpected where I think obviously people were expecting a twist but it was unexpected where oh the games aren't just for money they're also for your lives like if you yeah. if you if you break the rules of the game or if you fail to complete the challenge, you die. It's just as simple as that. Another thing I liked about the show, I was satisfied with the ending. Like I wouldn't, I'm not really like, hyped for another season. I'm hyped for another season, good. but I think the ending was very good as well. And you yeah, yeah. get off of there. Like the thing is, like I also uh, push uh, rebounding off of that. The characters in the show, I think, they showed very different dynamics of just like representing people in life. We have. Song Wu, the I think he's represent. I think he's the representation of the regular everyday person. Like most yeah. people see him as, oh, he's that one. He's the mo- evil, the good guy who turns evil. But at the end of the day, if you're in a, uh, death match for money, like billions of dollars or millions of dollars, you're you're gonna and you, and it's for your life. If it's for your life, yeah. you're gonna. You a lot of people will kill to stay alive. A lot of people will hurt others, betray others to stay alive. So I think he's just the representation of an everyday person. But also at the same time, he made it terrible uh, and so very morally. I wouldn't say he's like the average guy. Somehow he's like the failed success story. Like you get what I mean. He's like yes, but I'm the... saying like in the actual Squid Game, like so many the average person like a loss would like kill other people and betray other people to stay alive. So I'm saying is like people see him as the evil of the story but i wouldn't maybe go that far but at the same time i'm happy they didn't try to redeem him at the end he had a it was just like oh he killed himself he sees maybe he realized what he did wrong but it doesn't excuse what he did no i mean the whole thing is like anything that happened in there is i don't think you could judge someone for what happened i mean they chose to come back that's the thing that's the only way but if they let's say they got there and like never ended it you can't judge them but no they chose to come back they have to be judged on their actions and um who was your favorite character out of the bunch i mean before we go to that i want to say uh i just more like i think like let's say abdul ali the the most the trusting the pakistani uh guy he's a a representation of loyal characters but sometimes who get who are too trustworthy and you know are will get betrayed easily in real life will get manipulated easily but yeah. but the but they're one of the kindest people out there, and then we have Ji Han, representing the temptation, maybe a bit of the opposite of Sung Woo, where he's he was never really a success, but he's always been a good person at heart, and even though he doesn't show it, he's like that's like a lot. Of, that's like the representation of in real life. Like there's so many people who might not seem the best person, they make bad choices, but they are good people truly. And then yeah. we have uh i'm sorry if we pronounce all of these names wrong we're tr- we're, we're trying but we have a uh, song uh, kong say Byuk. i think which one that's the the girl the main girl character the one the north yeah. korean i think she's like the representation of a person who's yeah, yeah. wronged early in their life but you know just but is because of that is mistrustful of pretty much everyone around her but you said which one is my favorite character i think 
I think she's my favorite character because you see th she you see throughout the the show how she develops into someone who is not like from someone who just trusts anyone to someone who trusts more people to someone to starting to gain not be this ice princess but we actually see their feelings and their thoughts and how they they, they actually care for or, or how she actually cares for some people because like we see in the episode six with the marble game her partner they got a bit close they talked a lot and when the partner like the partner was self-sacrificing she gave herself up for uh Asanke or Kangsei Byuk because she, they had family while uh, the person who gave themselves up did not and she cried and Sei Byuk uh cried because of that and I think that should show like how her character oh there's a the there's a bit of humanity in there I yeah, didn't that's what I'm saying. Think, I don't know I didn't like her character because she was oh. very cold that's the reason but she it was a character my favorite was like the main guy because like of his daughter you'd want him to yeah, like redeem I think, himself yeah he's then, definitely like i think him and no, abdul he doesn't ali, deserve our, yeah abdul ali they're like the favorites of our love. yeah yeah abdul ali is he's like, like the, the fan favorite like everyone loves yeah, yeah. him and the, his death was so yeah. hard like bro the actor was so good especially in that moment yeah. where he realized the song would betray him the facial yeah. expression has just performed so well and it was very yeah. it was a very uh pulled out your heartstrings moment i think yeah yeah i mean I mean, I'm surprised a guy from Pakistan even made it in that show. I mean, have you seen... Oh, I think it's because he's been in a, a other, like, Korean stuff for a while yeah. now, so I think he got the opportunity, and he was yeah. great. I hope we see him in other Korean shows as well. I want to say, overall, the show it was interesting take. I think there's been shows like this where, you know, there's play games to win money, deathmatch, but it's not about... I don't think it's just about that. I think it was more about the characters and then, like, the focus of what they were doing it's like the, what the characters were doing so i think that was really interesting how how many plot twists there were and the different theories that could be formed from this and i like how the show ended like you like we said on something where you end off you don't have to continue the season like into a season two but a season two is very like open and can be continued from this yeah it reminds me of on my block have you seen that show yeah i think every, yeah block. yeah you're right on my block i wouldn't say i season one like was a bit of a cliffhanger but season after that three ending which one like the yeah, season three one, ending where they flash forward two years you could have ended there like i think yeah, yeah. one shows like shows some shows needed to get that when they're uncertain of the future but they need to leave yeah. it open for an end or a, a more uh yeah. beginnings Bro, did you know that the script was written over 10 years ago? Yeah, and it was, was rejected. Never... I, yeah. I wouldn't, I think I was reading, it wasn't because it wasn't good, it was because the budget for the show would have been crazy back then. And for like a Korean industry, <laughs> entertainment industry that, that wasn't that developed over 10 years ago, it would have been hard for them to push forward the show. But I'm happy yeah. it eventually got developed. I saw how the different yeah. character relationships developed, they were very good. Like between the gangster and that, one woman i think that was cool to see like at the end after the gangster betrayed old the woman. man yeah old man after old man not old man this guy was but, not yeah, old. yeah yeah there was old man yeah, and then yeah. there was old man but we'll call yeah. old man the gangster he was the woman he betrayed uh on the final or the penultimate game they she uh they both died and she took him like with her so with i her. think that was interesting yeah. dynamic to see but i think she, at the it, yeah it was but, self bliss of her i mean she knows she's gonna die she's, I, so, no I don't think she to... did it for other people i think she just did it because she was just so hell-bent on getting her no no but like yeah but it, there was no way for her to make it through and yeah. then there was like 18 pans of glass in front of her like there's no way she's gonna make it through and then she was like screw this i'm going for it and then killed him so before we end off the squid game segment uh let's talk about some theories i think the biggest theory to really like kind of come out of this was the old man like the real old man not old man being uh oh my god i already remember forgot his jihan's being jihan's father and i think i know you said you didn't think too highly of this theory but and i get why because then like why would he not try to subject like, just, his son yeah, to like all son of to the money yeah. like why would he not just uh like she, uh, help his son cheat but i think there are a lot of clues like not even some that aren't even that subtle but placed around like the um uh, the episodes that might lead to this like one one of the clues being the birth the birthdays you, we know that G, uh jihan's birthday is on uh, the 20 i think april 26th or something yeah april 26th and we know that 
during episode six, the old man was asking, uh, was, you know, during his dementia or whatever, if he's faking it or not, we don't know. But he was uh, saying that, oh, his son's birthday is coming up soon. Is it the 24th? And the 24th is just two days before the 26th. So that's like, oh, maybe they have the same birthday. That's just one. Another one was um, the mother of Jihan is Oh Mal Soon. Sorry, if I mispronounced that. But Oh is uh, uh, the old man. Oh is also his family name. And they both have the same family name. So that's another like thing that connects them that you know might lead to people thinking Jihan is the old man's son. Another thing is like, they it seems like Jihan's father was abandoned them at a young age because there's no mention of him ever, no pictures on the wall of his house ever. There's no discussion of him. So, like if if maybe he's never met his father or something, he wouldn't know what he looked like. So that's another clue. And then let me. I'm just looking at this article to refresh myself. But oh yeah, the remember the neighborhood in the Marble episode where yeah. They, the old man said it looked, it was very much like his neighborhood, and Jihan also said the same thing. It was very like his neighborhood. So maybe once upon a time, they lived in this uh, same neighborhood, you know? So that's another... Maybe. And, the, and then one more thing. The very first or second episode, Jihan says, when they're giving milk, he says that he can't digest milk, only chocolate milk. And the old man says his son was the exact same. So, oh. Yeah. And then, you know, there's also similarities in their characters. They're both, they both gambled a lot. They both lost their families. They, uh, maybe, uh, and like you said that, oh, he would, uh, help the person cheat, but maybe he wanted his son to earn it. Like maybe he'll give them an advantage, but he would, didn't, he wanted his son to earn it. And he, because at the end of the day, I think G Jihan wanted him to be more, he wanted him to be more involved. With the squid you know, game if after. he gave him the money, he would have blown it to his son. Maybe exactly. this whole thing is just to build up his son to become yeah. a better person. But well, I don't think that, was... but the old man doesn't seem like a good person. Who starts like a kill a uh, thing that a game that kills people for entertainment? I think he just wanted his son to become a VIP, maybe take his place. Maybe, but like, what is it you said in the beginning? Uh, what was it about the house? But. If remember you said they lived in a similar neighborhood, wouldn't the guy recognize his like father at all? Because like no, he's like, but oh, here, this is where my kids the, used to play here's the, here's the when thing. they were young. What Jihan? Yeah, I no, mean, but the here's the thing. Man... The, well, no, I'm saying the old man might know that he's his son, but I'm saying, but, but you people, kids don't remember really have memories before the age of four. So if they, if the man left when he was young, he wouldn't really remember him if you never saw him again. Sure. Uh, that is true. And then like he left, he left his wife to die from diabetes and then all that kind of stuff. I, mean, I don't, like, they, do I, think, I think the, di the diabetes was only just discovered. Was just discovered, but still like if you have that much power you could have kept tabs and helped yeah but at least uh, brother yeah. at the end of the day the the world has bad people and bad fathers and fathers sure, sure. a lot of fathers will just abandon the kids just because of they don't want a kid so we don't know but like i think this is a solid theory but at the same time maybe it's a bit obvious because even i saw it before i even looked online so maybe it's just like no. to throw off your trail maybe just to show that they are similar people but not family you know my theory was uh, as I just first watched the like, beginning, I was like, okay, old man, boss, he knows everything. And he's just picking an heir for his throne or like an heir oh, for his Oh, on the first episode you thought that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, and then hard. It changed. that's hard to think that. All right. Good, good spot, man. And then, and then like we kept seeing, you know, behind the beds, there were like four pictures. And like oh, each yeah. time, each time like people die or get eliminated, they take out their beds and then it like gets less and less less con condensed in there yeah and then the more they took out the more you can see those pictures and then it was just the all the games they played and then they were gonna play there was a tug of war there was a red light green light there was a the panel thing have you seen that yet no or, i haven't i watched i finished the whole thing i don't remember noticing that but oh, like on the walls behind them yeah i i think i know what you mean but yeah I... and then Go ahead. No, is are we, What is the point you're making? So I was gonna... oh, it's just that the Easter eggs. Oh, Actually, Easter eggs. Probably, yeah, I think that was cool right? because I think yeah. a lot of there was also things like oh, the, a lot of the deaths were foreshadowed because 
the gangster for one had to jump off a bridge to state you know remember yeah and then I like he died one. from yeah. jumping off a bridge and like i think there was a lot of uh yeah simple the, like the girl i forgot her name yeah the girl was threatening someone to slit someone's neck a knife and she yeah, got and she... her own neck slit by song woo uh, yeah Kong and then song woo killed someone with a knife or like she and then killed he got... Kong Sabiok with the knife, and then he got killed with the knife. Like it's all very connected, and yeah, I like yeah. that. But I, can't I wanna, the name. Uh, it's fine, no worries. I want to talk about another theory. Uh, how are the guards chosen? My, there's, I know you told me the theory. Uh, when they were well, playing the Dak they the envelope. Yeah, yeah, they the envelope. The, the, the red one or like is a player yeah. because of the blue jackets, and the red one are the guards because the guards are like a pinkish uniform. Yeah. But I was looking. I saw some other theories like. How they might be North Korean defectors because of because this is, is in South Korea so like they're they're like soldiers the guards are trained like soldiers and at a very young age in North Korea you're trained like a soldier so uh, that was an, one theory another theory maybe maybe the VIP supply the guards maybe the guards are like indebted to these VIP rich businessmen so maybe this is how they're paying off their debt yeah something like that or may, and maybe like let's say the front man. How was the front man showing, chosen? My thing was like, oh, the previous winner, but he was the winner in 2015, so why would it be like that? Maybe it was a new position introduced when they saw him win because they really liked him, so they wanted him to handle. Maybe for some reason uh, how he won his game was controversial, so maybe they made him be the front man in case like, just for like repaying them. You have to stay to get your money and to stay alive. You have to be the front man, or maybe... Maybe it was like every couple of years the front man changes. We don't know, but I think how the guards. Very are odd. How did he go thing. from participating and then become? Yeah, the front hopefully man if a season like, two comes out, that'll probably. He would have gone with the ex. Oh, you know, a theory for season two is that it's that guy's perspective. It's him. Yeah, it could it's be. It's not going to be the. I don't. I'm not really that interested in that. But I think like if it's a dual perspective, that would be cool. Not just one per perspective. But I'm saying, like, yeah, there, there's two. I mean, in 2015, Olympics thing, their thing. Bro, it's so odd. I mean, the amount they won in U.S. dollars is $42 million. I think it was a bit less, like $37 million, but yeah. 37 Like, imagine in the U.S., people were, like, wouldn't care for that amount for to go through that all this stuff. Uh, Trust yeah, me. I guess. No, there's Maybe... definitely some people who would. Like, the, uh, the people who, like... Yeah, would you would rather die like, in the streets or die trying to get money. So like that's yeah. the same thing with the people who are participating there. But I think people would definitely be. But if uh, it was made in the to... U.S., the number would have had to be, first of all, for the audience like us, had to be bigger, yeah. and then uh, it just had. I think like a million per head, uh, the number would have been million dollars per guy. Per I think person. so, and also maybe I think the fact that. I'll, I'll, my final question was one of the questions I was like thinking about when I, I finished was like, could multiple people win? It doesn't seem like it, but in the beginning, it made it seem like multiple people could win. And I think it would have been interesting if multiple people could have won and made it through. Because I don't know. I really thought that maybe it depends on the some, game. Because yeah. like this, maybe it depends if, on each year how the VIPs the... are feeling because they control it. Yeah. I mean, if if less people died at the beginning and then less people less people less people would they have had to add a game or have multiple winners because like yeah. if you know that squid game game there could be more than two players it could be up to like you see in this childhood flashback there yeah. could be more than two players so is that like winning team versus losing team if yeah winning we team could do that like on the squid game there's yeah there could be teams so yeah maybe we could have seen that but i think there's a lot of theories we could discuss in Squid Game, but I think those yeah. are the two like most interesting and biggest ones we I found like the father theory and the 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 um, biggest plot and twist the for me. Yeah. Well, what was your the biggest, biggest plot, plot twist? I don't know. I feel like maybe just every single song will betrayal. Right. Like right. every the, single song yeah. will betrayal is a plot twist for me. That was my it was thing just crazy was, like, to see him deteriorate every time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The marbles. I mean, yeah, song like, will betraying uh, Ali was definitely. <laughs> Probably just that oh we're gonna be a pair of like a team and then everybody chose their favorite yeah. person and then it's just you're gonna kill off the other guy you guys gotta get to an agreement before we end the segment i want to have two final thoughts one john Ho, the police officer investigating isn't dead because i think he was shot off the cliff we never see his dead body so i think it's very possible he can come back maybe help jihan uh investigate squid game in season two 
and two i was seeing a theory online how you know the vips they're watching they're like a representation of us the viewers subscribing to a netflix show paying to watch people die as entertainment like yeah that, that was like a thing i saw I, th I thought that was a cool perspective but yeah i think other than that we can end it end the segment here and before we but before we end the episode i know we spent a lot of time on squid game but it's one of the most breakthrough shows of all time so i think it was important to discuss but and a yeah. fun thing to discuss but before we uh, end the episode just we're gonna just talk about what is uh what everything's gonna look like moving into in person as we mentioned in yeah. in the beginning like like we said we're gonna have a tv behind us to know like maybe we can pull up articles videos uh pictures show talking about what we talk about to make the experience more interactive for you we'll visual. try to yeah, yeah visual we're gonna try to maybe you know personalize the room decorate so it's not too bland but you know drop a suggestion in the comments if you what would you uh, like to see yeah, in what that? would you like to see in the room what would you like us to do like in person that we couldn't do uh we couldn't do now also don't worry like not don't worry but we we will do online if we have to because you know we we were we want to plan on maybe reaching out to smaller scale professionals trying to get them on the podcast maybe collab with other YouTubers for those we'll be doing online so if you have any suggestions of who yeah, we should collab we're in with in times of covid as well so if yeah we're still in times of covid was to happen we would have to go back online and so... we'll be completely prepared for that as well so no yeah. we're not going to drop off the face of the earth if a change no. change happens but yeah just Bro, we've got a nice wooden desk yeah, it's gonna chairs. it's gonna like, be it's gonna look also professional. blue. They're blue and it matches yeah. our podcast theme, so it was like perfect, like the perfect thing. And uh, we're getting uh, extra mics for guests, aren't we? Yeah. So we're gonna we're have gonna guests have, like, on camera, like a real webcam kind of not webcam, sorry, yeah. a real camera that can record yes. us. So yeah, hopefully maybe the quality will be better and everything is more professional overall. Mm -hmm. But definitely uh, suggest what we can do to make the in-person experience a bit better for all of you but yes. i think we can end the episode here uh thank you guys for watching really appreciate it sticking out sticking, if you stuck out throughout the whole video as always drop a comment drop any uh suggestions on uh, whatever topics we should do next like subscribe because i mean i haven't looked at the subscriber analytic but we probably the, the ratio probably isn't isn't great so i really really appreciate it if you do subscribe and this has been busy with battlers and we'll see you guys on the next episode Thank you.